Well, hey guys, and welcome to another worship warm up here at Bellevue. I just want to take a moment and recap where we've been. We're continuing on through our series in Colossians, and we have made serious headway at this point through the book. Last week, we looked at Colossians 3, 9 through 14, and we saw that Paul challenged us really to put on three specific things. And the three specific things that we were challenged to put on was the new identity, and that identity being found in Christ, Christ being all of our identity and everything else being secondary to that. Secondly, we saw that Paul called us to put on uh, new hearts, and, and these hearts reflect the, the, the godly change that happens in Christians, where, where God changes our hearts, makes us alive. And so as we look at that and we think about it, what it really means is that we see as Christians, our hearts then reflect God's goodness. They reflect kindness and humility and patience, and we forgive as God has forgiven us. And then thirdly and finally last week, we saw that we were called to put on love because it is the thing that ultimately unites us, the love of Christ and the love of neighbor. And so as we continue to move forward this week and thinking about it, Paul challenges us for three more things we're going to see this week. And as we look at those, I hope that you will, will be challenged, I hope you'll be encouraged, and I hope that the Lord will convict you where it's needed, that we would be the people He wants us to be in a church that is moving in the direction He wants us to move. So with that being said, again, this week our text is Colossians 3. 15 through 17. I hope you'll read over it, pray over it, and prepare your hearts for worship this Sunday, but we look forward to seeing you. Hey, Bellevue family. This week, as we continue on in Colossians chapter three, we're gonna be talking about how the peace of God is to rule our hearts so that we're able to carry out what we're supposed to as the body of Christ, and that is to teach and admonish one another and to praise God and glorify Him in everything. Our songs this week are The House of the Lord, Jesus, thank you. Tremble and Lord be glorified. As you probably noticed, we're singing a brand new song, The House of the Lord. This song is so much fun because it talks about when we worship God for who he is, it creates joy in the body of Christ. So with that in mind, I ask you to become familiar with it so that when we come together Sunday to worship him, we do it with as much joy as possible. We'll see you then.